The Life Cycle of the Monarch Butterfly, a digital story by Sarah Fine Kokel. Hello, today I'm going to take you on a journey of my life cycle. I want to tell you my life story so that you can understand the complex steps I will take to become a beautiful butterfly you see before you. Here I am when I began this journey as a small egg. I was set here on the leaf of a milkweed plant by my mother. She will set the egg on the leaf so that there is enough food for me to begin eating when I am ready to break out of the egg. Yes, that means that when my mother monarch left me, she put only my egg on the entire plant. This way, I would have enough to eat when I come out of my shell as a tiny caterpillar. Once I break through the eggshell, I am so hungry that I eat it. Then I began to eat the leaves around me as well. Now that I am in my larval stage as a caterpillar, I need to eat and eat and eat. I will continue eating and growing until I can no longer fit in my skin. Then I just shed it off, which is called an instar. I keep eating and growing, shedding my skin each time I need to. I will do this four or five times before the next changes will happen. The last time I shed means I am ready to pupate or enter my chrysalid stage. I will wrap myself into this chrysalis. My chrysalis is a green color as I continue to make changes inside. My metamorphosis from a caterpillar to butterfly. During this metamorphosis, the parts of me that were caterpillar will transform into different parts that I will use as a butterfly. One change is that I will no longer need the mouth to munch leaves and instead will have a new mouth that is like a straw where I can sip nectar. This is called a proboscis. Look for it when you see me next. Another change is also coming. I will no longer crawl on the leaves that I would eat. Soon I will have beautiful wings and will be able to fly. Once I am ready to emerge, my chrysalis will change from the green to transparent, and then I will be ready to come out. Here I am, having just wriggled free from my chrysalis. I will begin to flap my wings to inflate them with fluids that are contained in my abdomen. After a few hours of doing this, I will take a short rest. Once my wings have dried and hardened, I am ready to give flying a try. As an adult butterfly, it is my job to feed on milkweed nectar and gain strength for things to come. This nectar will become important for me to live out my life cycle. I will need nourishment to go through my adult stage and carry out courtship, mating, and egg laying so that the life cycle can begin again. Sometimes monarchs like me also travel in the fall. In the fall, I will travel to Mexico like the other monarchs in my species. This trip is called migration, and those who migrate will need to drink a lot of nectar for survival during the winter. Here we go! In all the world, there are no butterflies that travel like us. We can sometimes travel up to 3,000 miles, the farthest migration of all butterflies. I will make my way to Mexico by instincts alone to the exact same trees where my ancestors came from.